Hello class, Professor Lyle here. Today I'd like to show you some of the basics of transducer manipulation. At the conclusion of this presentation, I'd like for you to be able to list those basic maneuvers. I'd like for you to describe how the manipulation helps the sonographer affect what's on the image, and I'd like for you to demonstrate these different maneuvers. These are skills that you'll need to have every day in your new profession. First, I'd like to start with rocking, which is my favorite transducer maneuver. Rocking enables the sonographer to both bring a particular area of interest into the center of the field of view, or it also enables a sonographer to extend their field of view. So for instance, here is a Orta, and here if I rock upwards and look, I can see very proximal aorta here in my view. So rocking is performed by rocking on the face of the transducer. This can be done in any direction. Rocking transversely and rocking longitudinally. Next, I'd like to talk about tilting. Tilting and angling are sometimes referred to as the same thing. Performed by tilting the transducer. So the transducer is tilted this way, side to side, or superior to inferior. So this can be used to evaluate an entire organ by staying in the same acoustic window and simply viewing that organ from both superiorly all the way through to inferiorly, or this can be used to see lateral through medial on that organ. The next maneuver I'd like to talk about is sliding. And sliding is the gross movement of the transducer across the, the field of view. Where it's possible to evaluate a small organ using angling, sliding needs to be used for a larger organ or a much larger field of view. So sliding can be done in any direction. So from superior to inferior, from medial to lateral, in either direction. Sliding enables the sonographer to utilize different acoustical windows, even for the same organ. These are just a few of the basic techniques that you'll use to maneuver your transducer every day with every case in your new profession. These require a lot of practice to become proficient. Let's get started. It's your turn. Here's the transducer. 